So in today's video, I'm going to be going through my top five picks for Android streaming devices for anyone that's looking for a new device and needs some assistance. Now, this is my personal opinion, but of course, I have used a lot of Android devices. Now, we're going to go through each device one by one and down in the description below, I'll leave you a link to the purchase link as well as a link to the review of the device and all the links apart from the first one, I'm going to use a Gearbest and the reason for that is they give you the cheapest prices and they deliver internet nationally free of charge so we're going to go through the list and start with the most expensive and then work our way down so the top one and this is pretty much a unanimous decision is the nvidia shield tv now this is up there at the top the great thing about the shield is it has great hardware the support from nvidia is good you constantly get updates it works with things like netflix and it pretty much performs well in all areas now the nvidia shield however is about 190 pounds so if you yeah, average user that is way too much money to spend the other thing and the reason that I don't personally own an Nvidia shield is it runs on Android TV which is slightly different firmware and the Android TV firmware is fantastic but just personally I'm not a fan of it so I choose not to use it but the Nvidia shield is powered by Nvidia's Tegra X1 system on chip and when it comes to benchmarking it pretty much outperforms everything it's got three gigabytes of RAM but it's a device mainly aimed at the game so anyone that is wanting a set top box for lots of gaming lots of streaming everything else as well and lots of support the Nvidia shield is the device for you but for anyone who doesn't want to spend 190 pounds on their streaming device then it's clearly not the right choice for you the next box we've got on the list is the R99 box and this is one of my favorites for people who want a bit of gaming and a bit of streaming so this one is still quite expensive and it comes in at 108 pounds it's powered by the rock chip RK3399 system on chip and that's technically a hexacore CPU which is six cores at two gigahertz it's powered by the Mali T860 GPU and it has four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM with 32 gigabytes of internal memory now I have reviewed this one myself and it did get a great review so I've also placed the link for that down in the description I would say this device is for you if you want streaming you want to run Kodi builds and run any build without an issue and you want to play some Android games so this will play any Android game you throw at it. If you're into emulating, you can play things like N64 and Dreamcast games on this and it won't have any issues at all. And all of the devices I'm showing you in this have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and support 4K playback. So that's the R99 box. And again, I've placed a link down in the description below for anyone that wants to purchase this. Now, the next device we have on the list is the B-Link GT1 Ultimate. And this is my top pick. I reviewed this over a year ago and I've still got this as one of my main devices in my front room and it's running just as well as it did the day I bought it. Now the reason B-Link GT1 is one of my top picks is that it's a fantastic all-round Android device. The price point is £56 but that's a lot less than the other devices we've looked at. The B-Link GT1 Ultimate runs on the AM Logic S912 processor that's 2 gigahertz octa-core CPU. It has 3 gig of DDR full RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal memory and of course that can be expanded to 64. As the rest of the devices it supports all of the usual 4K playback and formats, it has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and it does support both Wi-Fi bands 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Now this device is one of my favorites because for people who want a good device but don't want to spend a huge amount of money this is one of the best value for money devices and also another great thing about this one is when it comes to Chinese manufacturers they've got a tendency to sort of make a device never release software updates for it and leave it at that whereas the B-Link GT1 there have been firmware updates from B-Link so when I first reviewed this and got hold of this it was actually running Android 6 which is still completely fine but since then they've updated it and it now runs Android 7.1 so if you buy the device now it comes with Android 7.1 and for anyone that bought it before they can simply update the firmware so it's great that there is still support and when it comes to this device obviously it will run Kodi it will still run any build you throw at it when it comes to gaming it will play all of the Android games you can do emulation so it will still play n64 and Dreamcast games 
won't play them as well as the R99 box, but it still does a great job at a much cheaper price. Then next on the list, we have the H96 Pro dongle. Now I've put this one in there because it's a dongle and I know some of you guys do like that. A lot of people like the Fire Stick and the Fire Stick is a good convenient device, but the problem with the Fire Stick is it has a very slow CPU and it only has one gigabyte of RAM. The H96 has an AM Logic S912 CPU, an Armali T820 GPU and two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It also has 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Now the problem with this device is it doesn't come with a remote. So it's got two USB ports and it takes a micro SD card, but it does not have a remote control. So for those of you that already have a USB dongle lying around, then this is going to be fine for you. You can plug a USB mouse and keyboard into it. That is fine. You can use Bluetooth remotes, but just keep in mind you will need something USB to begin with in order to navigate through and actually pair your remote. So this is $32.99 and it's a good performing dongle, but as I said, it doesn't come with a remote and it's mainly just aimed at you guys that want a dongle for the convenience of carrying it around. But me personally, I had a good experience with this device. I used a wireless, USB, keyboard and mouse. That worked brilliantly and I had no issues with this device at quite a cheap price range. It's not a bad one to go for. Finally on the list we have the Shizen V88 Mars 2 and the reason this is on there is because it's an incredibly cheap device but it still has an okay CPU and 2 gigabytes of RAM. So this device actually comes in at £24.65 so much much cheaper than the rest of them on here and there are actually two versions. The cheapest one has 8 gigabytes of internal memory and that's the one for £24. If you wanted the extra internal memory it's £27 so it's only only a couple of pounds more expensive but if you are going to need the 16 gig of internal memory then it would be a good choice to go for now this device as I said it's got a reasonable CPU which is the arm Cortex a7 Mali 400 GPU 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM and 8 gigabytes internal memory. Now this one does run on Android 6 and to be honest I highly doubt that there will be another firmware update for this but in terms of using it for streaming, playing 4K, using Kodi and using other APKs it's going to do the job, it's going to do the job fine, much better than something like a Fire Stick and it's still much cheaper and as I said this one is £24 so for those of you that don't want anything fancy, just want a device to do the job but not do it too slowly then this is the device I recommend for you so that is it for my top five devices as I said the links are down in the description below where you can look at the reviews or go to the page and purchase these devices now I've used Gearbest as Gearbest are generally the cheapest for all of these devices for those of you that have never used Gearbest before they're a great company but they are Chinese based and for anyone who hasn't bought from China before they are exactly the same device is just companies in your own country buy them rebrand them and sell them for more you still get warranty with them they're exactly the same devices as you'd be buying in your own country they are just sold at the actual sale price so that's why I always get my stuff from here now when it comes to postage of course because it is China based the postage takes longer one tip I will give you here is when it comes to purchasing them it does offer you a choice for faster delivery so you can pay more and use a courier to get faster delivery but do not do this when you do this you can sometimes be hit with import charges it will go through the courier and they'll charge you import into the country whereas if you use the free shipping it takes longer but you don't get charged import charges they always put it through as a gift so it doesn't cause any problem at customs but with the postage it can take up to about 20 days so just be aware of that when you purchase it if you are very impatient then of course 20 days is a long time but what I like to do is sort of just purchase it and forget about it now that's pretty much it for the video Video. so hopefully I've helped some of you that are looking for a new device and you're not sure what to get if anyone has any other suggestions or wants to recommend anything else of course leave them down in the comments below so everyone else can see and if anyone wants to add anything that I've missed please start a discussion in the comments but if you've got any problems any questions at all leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can but as always thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel